fight! For years, there's been an urban legend going around the video game world that Atari buried millions of unsold copies of E.T. for the Atari 2600 in a New Mexico landfill. On April 26, 2014, excavation crews uncovered the famous Atari landfill in Alamogordo, New Mexico. There they found old Atari hardware, joysticks, parts, and games, including E.T. The excavation was funded by a documentary team of Fuel Entertainment and Microsoft, who will be releasing a film about the whole event. News outlets went crazy. Kotaku exclaimed, One of the most infamous urban legends in video games has turned out to be true. Polygon wrote that the excavation appears to confirm the story that Atari dumped thousands of unsold ET cartridges at the site more than 30 years ago. Yeah, there's, there's only one problem. That's not really true. Here's what actually happened back in 1983 with the infamous Atari landfill. You see, Atari had a manufacturing plant in El Paso, Texas back in the day. It primarily made video game cartridges, but in the early 80s, Atari wasn't doing so well as a company. In the second quarter of 1983, they'd lost over $300 million. This led to some big changes in the company. Game manufacturing was being moved to Taiwan, and the El Paso plant was going to be converted into a service center. Atari had a bunch of spare parts and unsold merchandise sitting in the warehouse, so they decided to dump it all. To avoid looting, they drove an hour and a half down the road to Alamogordo, New Mexico, to unload their inventory. New Mexico has state laws forbidding the looting of landfills. Atari hoped to keep the whole operation quiet. Unfortunately, that didn't happen. Local citizens found out, who simply ignored the law and started looting what they could find. Atari responded by posting a security guard and covering some of the dump with cement. Newspapers soon found out too, and the story went nationwide. An Atari spokesperson confirmed that they were dumping the contents of their El Paso, Texas plant. Games, hardware, joysticks, and scrap parts. It painted a grim picture for the video game industry as a whole. The most famous video game company in the world is simply throwing away excess inventory? That's not a good sign. Of course, the video game crash happened that same year, but still, a rumor started going around that Atari dumped millions of unsold ET cartridges in the landfill. It is true that Atari purged themselves of the unsold games, but no one knows where exactly. The most likely place is near the old Atari headquarters in Sunnyvale, California. So what happened on April 26, 2014 was... Really nothing special. It just confirmed exactly what Atari said over 30 years ago. They dumped a bunch of excess inventory in a landfill. And that's exactly what the excavation crew found. It didn't prove a myth was true, it just proved the truth was true. Well that's all for this episode of The Game Historian. Thanks for watching.